And so basically, if we look at the uh, from the U.S.-China trade, basically they will be having talks on Thursday. Uh, I'm on the side that there won't be anything big coming out of this. But then at least like both sides are meeting this time, so it's not exactly a bad thing. At least they're getting somewhere. Because obviously, if you look at past few times, obviously they've met, they've called off meetings. So at least this time they're meeting. So so basically, I think they're on the right track. But then, as you said, uh, I don't think there will be like any big uh, concessions from either side. So I think there might be small deals going on, like which we've been seeing recently. Uh, we've been seeing China buying more agricultural stuff from uh, the U.S. and. That's a good thing. So I think we're heading into a right direction. So, but then obviously we've been seeing, uh, but then obviously we've been seeing last minute uh, changes and things like that. So, so basically we still have to keep out, uh, keep out an eye on that. But then in terms of like, if you talk about the stock market, I think we've seen the market uh, sort of being positive today. So I guess the market is sort of at least right now sort of pricing in. Okay, at least they're talking right now. But then uh, if you look at from a longer term, from a longer term perspective, I think the uh, markets are still, valuations are still cheap right now. Like we've been seeing a sort of negatives going on through Hong Kong, going on through trade. But then the markets are not exactly tanking. So I would say valuations are right now sort of pricing in sort of a negative situation. So anything good coming out of the trade talks or anything uh, sort of outside in the sort of uh, background I think would be sort of positive for the markets and that's what we are seeing right now and that's what we're expecting. Yeah you're also saying that you expect to see uh, the China market likely up uh, as we approach the back end of the year uh, but China data starting to look a little bit on the sour side we of course had that services PMI number today coming in at its lowest level in about seven months. Okay, so if you look at the uh, China data, like similar to U.S. data, we've been seeing uh, we've been seeing good and bad data. But then, uh, we, but then I think in terms of the China data, I think we're sort of hitting a sort of a bottoming out stage because, like, obviously we've seen some worse data coming out from like a few months before. Mm -hmm. And I think in terms of the China trade uh, perspective, I think right now we're seeing like sort of companies accustoming to sort of what's happening in the world right now. So basically uh, tariffs has become a new norm and companies are sort of adjusting to it. So we're sort of thinking uh, second half numbers will look better than first half numbers. And I think that bodes well for uh, company numbers as well. Obviously we don't see like a very big catalyst yet because obviously the uh, obviously it will take time for the uh, China economic numbers to recover. But then I think we've sort of bottomed out in the second and third quarter. And I think the fourth quarter would probably probably look better, especially if uh, the trade talks get back uh, on track. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.